And welcome to part three, where we're looking at the mic device, routing, I'm not sure whether to say routing, hmm, I guess it depends which side of the planet you're on. Anyway, uh, we're going to look at what the microphone options do, the route microphone option does, um, that is the plan. So this feature is used to route a single input device commonly a microphone, to the SWB audio capture driver. So I'm going to show you using OBS, kind of just what I've got lying about at the moment. Um, now, I've configured OBS to have a global input of the SWB audio capture input, or as an input. I'll show you that here. It's just the fourth device. Now, we should make sure that it doesn't output. And I'm going to turn monitoring off so that we don't hear it. Okay, now obviously as I'm speaking into the microphone, we don't have a level meter here. We don't get anything on the SWB audio capture level because nothing's going into it. Uh, but if you wanted to mix a microphone into it and you weren't using OBS, um, then this route microphone option is a good plan. It's a good way to do it. Um, I will get to some, some examples later. Right, so upon enabling it, now you can see that we have a level that's active and it's coming in to the driver as well and now it's not so that's all it does you don't want to be using it all the time just because the option exists on this interface doesn't mean you should use it that's true for all of them i mean you should think of swb audio app it's a toolbox uh, some things will be useful to your situation and some things won't be um, if you were not using obs uh, then then it could be useful so the reason that OBS is a bad example in, in this case is because OBS can accept uh, multiple inputs. So there's nothing to stop me grabbing my input here, uh, making a new one, putting it to the same microphone. And now in OBS, the same level meter, but I can adjust the volumes independently. That's coming in SWB Audio app. But, you know, if you're using OBS anyway, uh, then you probably want to have all of your sources in one place so that you're not changing some over here and some in here and so on. Okay, so if, if OBS is a bad example, what's a good example? Uh, essentially anything, in fact, I'll quit this. I want to, if I might try and just do this on the fly. Okay, so we use Zoom as an example. Here we are. Now, if I wanted to allow someone that I'm speaking with to hear audio that I am playing locally. So, for example, it could be a video that I've got, a QuickTime video. It could be YouTube, uh, a clip that I'm showing. Okay, Then it would be reasonable to say, in that case, I want... Um, sorry, not, not speaker, wrong one. <laughs> I want my microphone to be SWB Audio Capture. I want my input device to be that. The problem there is, as soon as I set it to that, because Zoom can only accept one input device, uh, now no one can actually hear what I'm saying, which you can see because there's no level meter. So in that case, you'd, you could route the microphone. So this means that someone in Zoom can now hear what I'm saying, but they will get a direct feed from my Mac of the audio that my Mac is playing. Uh, and that's useful because it's a much higher quality feed of audio than, say, simply picking it up uh, through the Mac speakers, which, to be frank, is probably what people did before this option existed. Um, so that's what it's for. It's, it's a reasonably limited use, but um, in the case where you do want to mix a microphone with the output of your computer to send to something else, in this case Zoom, but Discord's another good example, um, then uh, using route microphone, that's a, that's a decent way to do it. So that is what route microphone does. M -rifa, microphone, try and use words. Uh, I hope it's been useful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, and I will do my best to answer it. Enjoy.